The R statistical software system is based on a programming language known as the R programming language, which has some similarities with the S programming language that is used in the S plus software, but there are various differences between the two. One of the good features of R is that users are able to write their own functions either to automate a series of tasks that um, will be repeated on different data sets or possibly to introduce new functionality such as new types of models or routines for optimization or even to create new graphical um, software and so on. So as R is primarily a functional language, but not exclusively, um, the user can create their own functions. So there's a keyword in R called function, and when creating a function we would need to specify a series of function arguments that can be edited and supplied by the user to the function. So Although in some languages where you have to explicitly submit a value to each argument, in R there's greater flexibility as to how you can specify values to each function argument, but this can sometimes lead to some unexpected behavior if you're not careful. So to consider creating a basic function, we'll make use of a simple example of calculating the volume of a cylinder. So the formula here is very straightforward. It's pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. So the basic outline for our function is shown here. So the function we're calling cylinder.volume. And as it's a function, which is an object, we're saving it to this particular name. So we've got the function keyword and two function arguments, height and radius. And then we've got brackets here to specify the body of the code that the function runs. So we submit that to the window and if we look here in the window we'll see that actually our function is not going to do a great deal because if we try and call the function we'll see that it returns null because nothing has been defined in the body of the function. So let's then take this function and do some simple calculations. So what we've got here is the user can specify the height and the radius and then we're creating a new variable object here, volume, within the function, which is the constant pi multiplied by the radius squared, so radius times radius, and then multiplied by the height of the cylinder. So the very last line of the function is the value that's returned at the end of the function. So here we're just returning the volume of the cylinder. So we submit those commands, and then we can take a look at what the function has done. And at the moment, we're not getting any information back. In fact, we've got an error because the height and radius hasn't been specified. So we've got a simple example here. We provide a height of 10 and a radius of 5. And we can see that we've then calculated the value of the volume for this particular cylinder.